I've said for a long time that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden have reached a level of codependency uh, that is just textbook. It's toxic. It's bad for the country in a number of ways. And the entire Biden organization has obviously been set up. And now we're finally seeing the whole thing unravel. What is bad for the country is when we set up institutions that are naturally corrupt from the inside out. The presidency shouldn't be one of those institutions. We should demand more from our presidents, whether they be Republican, Democrat, or hopefully something else at some point in the future. Hunter is so gross and so corrupt and morally contaminated that he uh, he started a relationship with his brother's grieving widow while he was still married. And the optics of that at the time would be untenable for someone like Joe Biden, who has built his legacy and his name and his reputation around the idea that he's an average working person who really loves his family. Well, um, he's an average politician and that uh, he's a serial liar, but... His family is not necessarily working class. They have been enriching themselves. And we have so much evidence to prove this. And the story is unraveling before our eyes because there's so much evidence that it's only leading in one direction. And so this working class family is now filled with multimillionaires who were clearly using access to Joe to create relationships and shake down people in questionable parts of the world who were willing to pay whatever it took. God knows where that money, those millions and billions came from that put those people in proximity to power. So as the circle is tightening, I hope the president is getting nervous because I believe based on the evidence that we have seen, the interactions, the White House visitor logs, the testimony from people who have yet to be refuted all of these things point in one horrible direction and that is joe biden is a bad person from the inside out and he has no problem selling out members of his family that he does not acknowledge in order to enrich the rest of them to continue with this disgusting narrative i hope they're sweating But more than anything, I hope there is accountability so we don't continue having administrations like this who pretend to be moral.